Welcome to the Brandon Show. This is Mark Thompson, your host. I'm so glad you're here today, and I'm sure glad to be with you today. Hey, we're doing this show on Memorial Day. It happens to be my anniversary, and um, it's just a great day to remember the great things that have gone on in our lives. I'm so thankful for my sweet, sweet wife, and I'm going to celebrate with her later on this evening. But I also want to, on this Memorial Day, just thank those who are in the military. Just for a moment, thank you for serving our country, for the men and women who are in the military, who are serving in the military here and overseas in other countries. We thank God for you. We thank God for this nation, and we pray the blessing of God over this nation. We pray the blessing of God over all of our veterans, those who have given their lives for this flag, those that are still with us and those that are not with us any longer. We just say thank you to all the veterans. Thank you for your service to this country and the honor that you have brought to the flag. And we thank you for this country, Lord. We thank you for the blessing that is on this country because of you. We thank you for our flag. We thank you that it is a symbol of freedom and that Christ is the symbol of freedom for every branded believer. And Lord, be on this show today. Be with us today. Be with every believer. Give them revelation today to know how much you love them and how much you are for them. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, today I want to read a couple scriptures to you and for you. And, you know, it's just been on my heart that there are people that are just going through a lot of things these days. I have some friends, they've they've lost their son. They're still grieving through that. And my heart goes out to them every time I see them. I love to hug them. And that's a terrible pain. Maybe you've lost someone. Um, I know Ramona lost her father and that I continue to remember my good friend Craig, who was killed two years ago, and I still miss him. And I still wish I could talk with him, and I still wish I could be with him. Traveled all over with him, and, and I miss his presence in my life. And I'm sure that you have, through a Memorial Day, going to maybe grave sites and putting flowers down and missing people that you love. Know this, that God loves you. He's with you through your grief. He's with you through your loss. And even today, as I was driving here to do my show, it's getting close to the day that my good friend Craig lost his life. And and I was just I was just feeling down and I was I was feeling sad. And you know, that's okay. God understands where you are. I want to encourage you today. Maybe you've lost a relationship. Maybe you're going through a separation in a marriage. Maybe you're, you've, you've dated somebody for a long time and you've, you've broken up and your heart is broken and you're grieving and you're, you're crying and you're sorrowful. I just want to encourage you today. This show, I just want to be an encouragement to all the listeners. God is with you. God is for you. And His grace is with you. His love is with you. You're going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And I want to just encourage you that, you know, that's why Jesus said, come to me. He said that in the Gospels, come to me. And sometime when, sometimes when we're going through grief, for some physical reason, I don't know why we do it, it's we, our old fallen nature, we, we drift from God rather than drawing to God. And I want to, I want to encourage you. God hasn't left you. Even if you've fallen away a little bit, He's with you. He's never going to leave you nor forsake you. He's, you, you haven't jumped out of His hand. You're right in His hand. You're going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I have some loved ones that I'm praying for that have gone through a really hard time. And, and I, just, I just want to let them know that God is with you. You're, you're not on your own. You're going to be okay. So don't give up and don't let go of him. Just keep coming to Jesus. Keep coming to Jesus and say, Jesus, hold me. Take care of me. Hold me in your arms, Father. 
hold me in your arms. I Maybe you're fearful. Maybe there's a situation. Maybe you've lost a job. Maybe you've lost employment. I want to encourage you. Now's the time to stand firm. Now's the time to stand firm and hold your ground. Don't give up. God's not going to give up on you. Don't give up on God. It's going to be okay. You will be okay. You will make it through. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So just stay close to Jesus. Stay close to Christ and just lay your heart out to him every day and let him love you. Let him encourage you. So don't give up. You're going to make it through in Christ. Did you hear that? In Christ. You can make it through. Don't try to go through it on your own. God is with you. God is for you. So stand firm. Don't give up. If you're a believer today and you're just facing something extremely heart-wrenching and difficult, don't give up. Don't let go. Don't give up. Don't lose your faith. Don't lose hope. God is for you and God is with you and he will help you get through this. I've gone through some really, really difficult things in my life. I'm not going to tell you all those stories, but let me tell you, I have faced heartache. I have faced really deep woundings in my heart. And sometimes it happened in church. Yeah, that's, yeah. Sometimes you get the you hurt the wordest in church. But you know what? God didn't do that. Maybe you've lost your church. Maybe you've lost your pastor. You're a congregation. You've lost your pastor. Come to Jesus. Don't give up. It's going to be okay. He's, he's not forgotten you. He's not forsaken you. And so sometimes when we're in, a, in all of these situations and circumstances in our lives, we can lose sight of him. Uh, you know, it's, you lose sight of the trees through the forest or that old saying that you can't see the trees. You know what? Sometimes it's hard to see God, but he's there. He is there. And I want to read this passage of scripture in Second Thessalonians. It really was an encouragement to me, encouragement to me this morning, actually yesterday morning and today. But we ought always to thank God for you. Brothers loved by the Lord, because from the beginning God chose you to be saved through the sanctifying work of the Spirit and through belief in the truth. He called you to this through our gospel, that you might share in the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers, stand firm. And hold to the teachings we passed on to you, whether by word of mouth or by letter. I love this next part. I'm reading it as a prayer for you. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and by his grace gave us eternal encouragement and good hope, encourage your hearts and strengthen you in every good deed and word. So I want to encourage you today. Let me just go through this first part again. You are loved by the Lord. Paul's writing here and he says, Because from the beginning God chose you to be saved through the sanctifying work of the Spirit and through belief in the truth. You have been saved through the work of the Holy Spirit, and He is with you, He is in you. So hold on to the truth. Stand firm in the truth. Stand firm on God. He is a firm foundation. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. God, God is with you. Don't believe the lie of the enemy. God has not left you. You're not on your own. Some of you have been you have you have heard that lie, that voice. It's been rolling around in your head. God doesn't love me. God isn't for me. He has left me. Let me just comfort you today. That is not the voice of the Father. That is not the voice of the Father. And that is not the voice of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit would never ever say that. God is for you. God is 
with you. And on the second half, he called you to this through our gospel. God called you by his gospel that you might share in the glory of of the Lord Jesus Christ. That right there, we share in the glory of Jesus Christ. We share in the glory of God. We have been seated in the heavenly realms, believer. And sometimes we, in the hardest times in our lives, that's when we've got to hold on to the truth of God's Word. Get those roots down deep in God's Word. Get those spiritual roots down deep in the truth of God's Word. Don't believe the lie. And sometimes, sometimes we lie to ourselves. But God's Word is the truth, and it will always get you through. He will always get you through. And then he says, so then, brothers, stand firm and hold to the teachings we passed on to you, whether by word of mouth or by letter. Did you hear that? So, brother and sister, stand firm. Stand firm and hold on to the teachings that have been passed on to you. You might need to get online and listen to that, that same old message that stirred you before you, you face this difficult time. Get online and find some preacher or listen to this show and get your faith built up. Stand firm on God and don't give up. Don't lose hope. God is for you. I'm just going to keep telling you that. God is for you. He's not going to leave you. He never will leave you nor forsake you. You are In a time, it's just a season. It's just a season. Uh, This year, we had a late winter in Missouri, and we had a very, very, very short spring. It's almost like we didn't have spring at all. But we can't say that we didn't have that season because we did, and then we jumped right into hot weather, and instantly we're right in the middle of summer when it's hot and humid here in Missouri. You know, and we can get really discouraged with this hot, humid, dry weather. And it is miserable. It can be very miserable when you're working outside, and I do that every day. But you know what? It's just a season. Did you hear that? It's just a season. It ain't going to last forever. You know what? Fall weather's going to come. That's what gets me through August in Missouri. I know that September's coming. When September comes, oh, it leads right into October. And I'm a bow hunter. I love to whitetail hunt. And that's my God time. I get all kinds of alone time in the woods. I love to be in the woods. I love to be in nature. And you know what? I know, I know that that season's coming. It's not here today, but I know that that season is going to come. And so this season that you're going through, believer, it's just a difficulty. It's just a, tr- it's just a trial, maybe, or possibly. Let's refer back to when I was talking about John 15, abiding in him. Maybe it's a season of pruning for you. Maybe God's pruning some things off from you. Maybe he's pruning some things back that, that, he, does, that he doesn't want in your life anymore. And that may mean may mean that that times are a little bit difficult, but you know, God's love will get you through. God's grace will get you through. And again, maybe you're going through a really tough time right now. It's just a season. Did you hear that? It won't last forever. It's just a season. And you know, fall will be here and we normally have just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful falls here. I'm an old... Native Vermonter, I remember falls in Vermont, beautiful, beautiful fall foliage, beautiful temperatures. I love New England in the fall. I love New England weather. I love New England. And see, I can remember that. It's fond memories for me. And so you look forward to the changing of the seasons. And winter will come. Well, winter has its own beauty. It's cold. It snows, but it's just a season. So you may be in a difficult time right now, believer. And I'm and I'm primarily just talking to believers right now. I'll I'll talk to the people that don't know Christ here in just a moment. Maybe you don't know Jesus and you are in a very tough time. And it's really hard to stand firm because you don't have a solid rock to stand on. But believer, don't give up. 
I want to keep encouraging you. Don't give up. Stand firm. And I want to read a portion of Scripture out of Ephesians. Again, that talks about standing firm, but this is spiritual. It's not natural. And sometimes, even in hard times, you need to look at it 90% of the time as the spiritual realm and not just the physical realm. Yes, you are in a physical world and you're struggling with things, but there is a spiritual realm that we war against and battle against. And so prayer, worship, and abiding in the presence of God is your stronghold. That is your holy stronghold. So stay in prayer and worship, 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 and it'll get you out of your wound. Worship is a key for every believer. Hear me. Worship is the key. Glorify Christ and he will lift you up. Worship him and he will lift you up and practice his presence. Just abide in his presence. But let me read this scripture for you today. It's the armor of God. I know you've heard it before. You've heard it many times, and I'm not going to preach out of this. I'm just going to touch on a couple things, but I do want to read the whole verse. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you may take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, Take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. And also pray for yourself. But stand firm. Don't give up. Don't give in. You can make it through whatever you're facing, believer. Abide in Christ. Go back and listen to those shows that I did on abiding in Christ. Abide in Him and let that fruit come forth in your life, the fruit of righteousness. But put this spiritual armor on because You may be in a difficult time, and it may be a season of warfare for you. It may be spiritual warfare for you, and you can't do it on your own. The battle is the Lord's, but you have a spiritual place to be, and it's to wear the armor of God. And so get into this passage. It's chapter 6 of Ephesians, and I started in verse 10. But put on that armor. We need to be wearing that armor every day. But I want to say this again. The three most important things in your life is be in the Word, be in prayer, and be in worship. And if you are in those, guess what? You will be in the presence of God. And that is where you want to be. And I, I just want to I just want to share this little tidbit of truth for you today. Jesus said, come to me. He didn't say, come to church. He didn't say, come to a meeting. He didn't say, come to a denomination. He didn't say, come to a non-denomination. I want to throw this spiritual truth out today because it needs to be spoken and it needs to be said because there's all kinds of false gospels going around these days. There's all kinds of charlatans saying all kinds of things and they are not preaching the pure gospel of God. But I want to say this today. I want to say this to church deacons and elders and all of you in leadership. 
You need to be in the gospel, the solid gospel, because that's what the people need. And the preachers need to be preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and not just something from your own head. Preach the gospel because it's the power of God unto salvation. It, Jesus didn't say, come to be a Baptist. He didn't say, come to be a Catholic. He didn't say, come to be a charismatic. He didn't say, come to the assembly of God or come to be a Lutheran. No, Jesus said, come to me. That's truth for somebody today. Jesus said, come to me. So if you don't know Christ today and you know that you do not have a personal relationship with him and you're going through a trial, you're going through a hardship, you're going through a season of darkness, let me just say, come to Christ, give your life to Christ, give up to him, repent of your sin, sin, accept him as your Lord and Savior, ask him to be your Lord and Savior, and he will save you, and then the lights will come on, and you can stand firm. You can't, you can't stand firm without Christ. So believers, know God is for you. God is with you. Stand firm on the word of truth, and don't give in, and don't give up. Hey, I hope you enjoy this next song. It's called Come Running, and that's where you need to be, no matter where you are in your life. Come running to Jesus, and everything will be made right.
I have some future shows coming, and they're going to be the interview shows that I'm going to have. So stay tuned. Listen for those. I'm going to broadcast those on my website. I'm going to I'm going to post those on my Facebook page, um, and it's going to be on seed. The importance of the seed of God and the soil that Jesus talked about, good soil. And I'm going to have two shows on a shepherd with a real live shepherd. So you can find me, Branded Believer, on Facebook, and you can find me on my website, www.markthompson.live, and email us at kingdomsongus at yahoo.com. There's a song I want to play for you today. I hope it builds you up and encourages you in your faith. Live loved! And you are a branded believer in Christ.